Hi, I'm Reverend Carol with the Kingsbury and Baxter Lee group of parishes. Welcome to our service of Compline this evening, Tuesday the 11th of October. Um, I'm sounding a bit rough. I seem to have COVID. Um, it's just presenting as a, a nasty cold. So I'll just stay behind the screen and you'll be fine. Um, but obviously I'm a bit cold, so I'm wearing my coat as well. Anyway, welcome. Uh, this evening we are celebrating two people. Uh, we have got Ethelberger, who was abbess of Barking, and also James the Deacon, who was a companion of Paulinus. So, first of all, Ethelberger. Ethelberger was sister of Erkenwald, Bishop of London, and was probably of royal blood. As Bede describes her, it seems she may well have owned, as well as been made abbess of, the joint monastery at Barking. There was a tradition developing of monks and nuns sharing monasteries, often with a woman superior, for example, Hilda at Whitby and Cuthberger at Wimborne. Though they lived quite separate lives, often divided by high walls, they would occasionally celebrate the daily office or the mass together. There was, excuse me, you all wanted to sneeze, but it wouldn't come. Ah, oh. there was also probably an element of safety involved with the ever-present threat of marauding Danes. Bede relates many miracles occurring around Ethelberger, but little else is known of her life. She died on this day in the year 675. And now some information about James the Deacon. The details of the birth and death of James the Deacon are not known, though since he accompanied Paulinus, he may well have been Italian. James seems to have been very active in assisting Paulinus on his mission in southern Northumbria. And when King Edwin was killed in battle and Paulinus had to flee south, James remained in the north. At some risk to his life, he continued the work of preaching and baptising around the area, which is now North Yorkshire. As an old man, he attended the Synod of Whitby in 664, and though not a monk, and therefore without a community to perpetuate his memory, he seems to have had enough popularity among ordinary Christians to have had a continuing cultus long after his death. So that's what we've got for James the Deacon. In the usual way, uh, I will attempt to share my screen. The words you see in bold are for you to join in with should you wish to do so. So here we go. Hopefully you can all see that. So this lady here is Ethelberger, Abbess of Barking, and this is James the Deacon, companion of Paulinus. Let us begin. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Brethren, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about, seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in the faith. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Thanks be to God. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who hath made heaven and earth. And we take a moment of quiet as we reflect on the past day, the past week, Bring all those concerns on our hearts to God. Let us say together, we confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word and deed through our own grievous fault. Wherefore, we pray God to have mercy upon us. 
Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to life everlasting through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the almighty and merciful Lord grant you pardon, grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins. Time for amendment of life and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. We listen now to the convivium singers as they sing before the ending of the day. Our uh, psalm this evening is Psalm 4. Hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness. Thou hast set me at liberty when I was in trouble. Have mercy upon me and hearken unto my prayer. O ye sons of men, how long will ye blaspheme mine honour and have such pleasure in vanity and seek after leasing? Know this also that the Lord hath chosen to himself the man that is godly. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart and in your chamber, and be still. Offer the sacrifice of righteousness, and put your trust in the Lord. There be many that say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift thou up 
the light of thy countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart since the time that thy corn and wine and oil increased. I will lay me down in peace and take my rest, for it is thou, Lord, only that makest me dwell in safety. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our scripture reading this evening comes from the prophet Jeremiah. Thou, O Lord, art in the midst of us, and we are called by thy name. Leave us not, O Lord our God. Thanks be to God. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth, I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of an eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. And again, the Convivium Singers with Ritzer's version of the Song of Simeon.
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our fathers, to be praised and glorified above all forever. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise him and magnify him forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven, to be praised and glorified above all forever. The Almighty and most merciful Lord, guard us and give us his blessing. Amen. Wilt thou not turn again and quicken us, that thy people may rejoice in thee? O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto thee. Let us pray. Let us pray with thanksgiving to God for all the blessings of this life. Empower the church to be a refuge for all people, a beacon to all the nations. Keep our ministers always ready to receive and comfort those who come to them for any kind of help. Bring reconciliation wherever there is conflict between faiths and races. Grant the spirit of peace, that none may be despised for their status or condition, but all may be drawn into a single harmony of life. We pray for our families, friends and neighbours, for shared sympathy and mutual help. Make us duly thankful for all the benefits we have received. Bless and strengthen all who work for the abandoned and homeless in our community. And we pray for all who live and work in Chestnut Close and Church Lane in Kingsbury, Holly Drive in Hurley, Johnson Street in Wood End, and Crow Lane in Merivale with Bentley. Grant healing to the sick and skill to those who work for them. We pray particularly for those suffering from chronic illness and for those who are shunned because of their affliction. Lifting to you, Lord, all those who have asked for our prayers at this time. We pray for those who have come through tribulation and suffering in this world to be made whole in heaven. Especially we pray for Philip Clive Markham Shaw, Reverend Canon Priscilla White and Kes Siakiera. Give to them and to all the departed the eternal life of the faithful. May our prayers be accepted in the name of Christ, the merciful healer. Amen. And the collect. Almighty God, you have made us for yourself, and our hearts are restless till they find rest in you. Pour your love into our hearts and draw us to yourself, and so bring us at the last to your heavenly city, where we shall see you face to face. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may repose upon thy eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
we will lay us down in peace and take our rest, for it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. Abide with us, O Lord, for it is toward the evening and the day is far spent. As the watchmen look for the morning, so do we look for thee, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day and to make thyself known in the breaking of bread. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost, bless us and preserve us. Amen. concludes our service of Compline for this Tuesday the 11th of October. I wish you all a peaceful, quiet and safe night and look forward to seeing you again next week. In the meantime, take care. God bless.